Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, the previous video, the one I recorded, that's only for theory. Even though I, I want to record that is less than 30 minutes, but it goes beyond 30. But I really don't know what <laughs> going wrong with me. Okay, anyhow, I'm going to jump onto this configuration right now. I will try to finish as early as possible. Okay, so but I, I cannot stop, you know, giving you more details. Okay, anyhow, I did configure all the IPs over here, over here, over here, over here. So nothing, no configuration here. Just I, I go here and give the IP addresses over here. Okay. So over here also the same. I just show you the, the stuff what I did over here so that we can able to follow up. Okay. Which is the default gateway which I give. I specified over here what I what I give the default gateway and stuff. Okay. So um, for your for you. To, you know for your uh, uh, help i just gave some con uh, the configuration here whatever the configuration the basic configuration i gave over here so that you can able to copy the configuration from here in case if you if you don't know you know how to configure if not you can configure on your own i gave you the all the details over here i did already okay so anyhow this 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 are how, how the router is set up this is the router a this is the router b and this is the isp so router by setup to the interface, which is this interface, which is 10.1.1.1. Okay. Okay. This this site and the router it connected to, to the ISP router, which is on serial interface 0 slash 0 slash 0, 0 192.168.100.1, 255.255.255.0. This is the IP road. Okay. This is the IP road going to up. Okay. So now router B connected to the both ends, same which is the 10.1.1 interface, which is the LAN interface. And this is the WAN interface, which is 10.168.200.2. This is the other path, okay? So we are routing the traffic, whatever the traffic comes here, goes to this guy, dot three, 192.168.200.3, okay? So our ultimate goal is reach from here to here, okay? So the ISP, what, what it's going to do, like whatever the traffic come here, okay, since, this is connected directly and this 172.16.1.100 is connected directly to 172.16.1.1 it just dropped the traffic and it can uh, reply back okay so to reply back we have the router routing over here okay so we have the ip route any 10 dot network goes to this route one and then second route here this is the second route goes to this guy this side okay so this is the serial interface ip of this guy this is the serial interface ip of the, this side and this is the fast ethernet inter interface ip of this this one okay so i configured all except this one so that you understand how i configure if if you don't know in case okay and also what i did because the router won't come with the serial interfaces so i went here uh, to to add a serial module first of all you need to turn off the router okay you need to turn off the router you need to grab a serial module, put it here. Okay, let me do it for you. Turn off the router. So the week, whatever the week you want, you need to put here. Okay. So week 2T. Okay. You bring here and then from here you attach here. That's it. Leave it. Uh, or else if you have here space, leave it. Okay. If you want more, you have two places to keep the big card okay since i already installed the big card over here i know i'm not going to do it i'm just going to turn on the router okay once you turn on the router go to the cli let the image to boot okay this is what what the change over here only okay by default it won't come with the module okay so enable <coughs> config team let me see so there is no IP configured. Okay, let me configure quickly the IPs. Let me configure it as zero. IP address 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 No shit. Okay. Okay. Interface serial zero slash zero slash zero. IP address 192.168.100. One two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five zero because this one is this one is twenty four okay okay 
so here no shell so after especially the trunk links or any link if when you enable so you you better ping 192.168.100.3 so i'm pinging this ip over here okay okay it's pinging so i'm done okay so according to this configuration according to this configuration i should need to have the route route over here for the traffic to go from here to there okay let me show you one more thing here before i before i give you let me show you the troubleshoot part also at the same time okay this is this this is the button this is the button over here where you, can, you are going to have the simulation okay if you click again here it just close that one okay okay so now let's see that this pc want to communicate with this pc okay so i select this this one okay the packet i put it here and i put it here okay so let's see what happened exactly here it's very very good okay let's see what packet this this computer sends okay so when you click on the packet it sends okay it sends its own mac address okay it is saying okay my ip address is 10.1.1.1 101 and i need to destination ip address is 10.1.1.1 because of the gateway okay so let me take a pen here so here if you take this guy over here so it's saying over here okay my ip address is this ip address and the, since we already mentioned the gateway here it is saying okay my gateway is this gateway can you please give me the it is just doing the broadcast to anybody please whoever got this ip please give me the mac address reply back okay so this is the packet it sends okay let's see what happened okay after this guy let's close okay let's go to auto you can do auto capture or you can do one by one okay just to show you see what happened now it's it because this switch don't know also it's does this switch floods to everybody one two can you see this one guys x mark x mark okay here because this side it because this ip address is one one ten dot one dot one dot two this ip address is you know this is the host so they don't they cannot resolve anything okay that's the reason packet goes to everywhere because the the switch did the arp broadcast okay which is the broadcast so the packet goes here okay now here the packet validates okay now it's coming back again see let's see what happened the next step okay see the packet return let's see the packet okay can you see these guys now here so now the packet says okay ip address of this router okay 10.1.1 destination ip address is 10.1.1.101 a while ago it was different ip address was 101 destination was 1.1 okay now the reverse okay reverse out okay now it is saying that okay this is the mac address rather than fffff this is the mac address okay so let's see let's see we, d105 let me see can you check this one guys yeah sorry so this is a mac address so d1107 e0 f7 ac d701 so this is the mac address of the router so this is sending this mac address sending to this guy before it was like this mac address was this one and then bottom one is all fffff since this already sent this mac address please reply back to this mac address now it's it is giving okay this mac address and then it is replying back to this mac address which is this pc okay so if you want me to explain you by this one so this mac address belongs to this one this mac address belongs to this one okay so this is very 
helpful for you if you are new or if you want to know what is the packet look like so this is very important okay please follow this one and try to try to see what packets are flowing okay so now let's let's move on capture the packet packet came back packet left again because we resolve already the mac address okay because before we don't know the mac address now we resolve the mac address now packet is forwarding to this our ultimate goal is to reach from here all the way to here but since we don't know this mac address so we queried this mac address so this one now reply okay this is my mac address okay now the packet is going okay now packet came back and then packet is going back again so this is the packet okay so let's see see packet is going okay so let's see see packet drops okay packet drops let's see why, why the packet drops okay so the packet drops there so if we can ping okay do ping 10.1.1.1 doesn't know oh sorry I'm, I'm wrong here i'm wrong here okay so let's see from he this guy if this one reaching to ping 10.1.1.1 Now, okay, let's see the configuration here. Let's see the configuration this one okay do show ip interface brief 10.1.1.1 is up okay so let's see again from here what's going on we want this scenario okay so always exit the scenario if not it will it will try to you know wait for you to press here if not if auto capture then it will move if not you should need to capture if not you should need to so this one so if you are manually forwarding then it will wait for you to forward if you click this one it will automatically play okay so let's cancel this one okay so let's go to the real let's go to the real okay so now where is the pc so this is the pc so when i ping see my pc can able to reach over here okay let's see this router can reach over there so this is the troubleshoot okay so i start with i love troubleshooting okay so now let's see this router uh, is is this router come can communicate that one okay do ping one nine two one sixty eight hundred dot three can be okay so now let's see what is the route is to show ip route oh i'm using do command because i am in the interface mode if, if i'm in the global uh, ex, 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 uh, enable mode then I, I need to use show ip route okay since there is no route here so there is no packet will be transferred <clears throat> so let's give the route here ip route any <coughs> traffic comes route to 192.168.100.3 so any traffic comes here route to this guy okay okay let's see the routing table can you see this one static route and candidate default okay and the metric is one by default the static static routes all, all the static routes got the metric of one okay 
distance. Okay, so now let's see if we can if we can go there. Okay, so now let's go back to the simulation. Let's go back here. Let's go back here and here. Okay, let's do this packet capture. This time it did not did the R because this computer know already this MAC address. That's the reason it did not did any R. It just go directly. Okay, and also this switch, this switch knows already this MAC address and this MAC address. Okay, so this just forward to this router. Okay, but now still the packet is dropping over here. Let's see why the packet is dropping over here. Okay. So let's see this router over here. Enable. I think this video goes long if I start troubleshooting. Let me let me not do that one. Do show IP route. Okay. Let me see if I can ping that guy. Ping. So let me see do show IP interface brief. See what I got here. One seventy to sixteen. Okay. Can I can I ping from here? Do ping one seventy two sixteen one dot hundred. Oh, see here it hangs. If I leave in the simulation mode, so I should need to change. Okay, so it's pinging. Okay, so the problem is that the the problem is that. there is no route over here as we specify here these two routes is not configured okay so let's configure these two routes ip route 10.0.0.0 to 55.0.0.0 to 0.0 via okay a traffic belongs to belongs to this one via this one 192.168.100.1 okay the same command traffic let's do this one okay 200.2 200.2 same traffic okay we are 192 200.2 okay so now do show ip route okay so now i have connected i have static route i have one one route to uh, uh, static route to two different interfaces okay so let's see now let's do this one let me delete okay here you go here you go let's capture one two three four see can you see guys so it went all the way here okay let's let's let it come back okay one two three four okay so because this one this packet came from this side okay so this one got received but i will i will explain you why, why this happens okay so now let me let me put one more packet okay so let's do this one three four okay see this this time it takes this path okay okay so now we are okay now now the problem comes now the problem comes since since we are bounded okay since we are bounded to this gateway okay okay so let's assume that this link going down okay let's assume this link going down okay so now what's what's going to happen since we are we are bounded over here with this gateway so our packets going to chalk over here okay so let's assume like this this link is going down okay so since we are only having one gateway okay 
so our packets goes from here it goes from here and chalk over here and our packets drop over here okay even though this 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 link is there even though this link is there okay to go but still since the gateway is there so this gateway only goes to this side it never goes to that side let's do a trick over here even though that gateway is there even though that gateway is there okay even though this link fail we can able to trick this router to drop to forward the traffic let's do that okay config the ip route let's see first do show ip route so what is the route here any traffic please send to 100 this day 192 168 100.3 to this interface okay so now i'm going to do a small trick over here ip route 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 any traffic sent to 10.1.1.2 okay here i'm going to give the metric metric is 100 okay here i'm going to give extra metric see what happened here so let's see that routing is it affect the routing table do show ip route see it is not showing any any route for me okay so when i give command when i give command do show run see this command is there okay but it is not in the routing table okay see, because it's not active okay let's do one thing let's go to this router okay interface fa zero slash zero no serial zero slash zero slash zero shut and also we remove the route which one we gave the route let's let's not have the route okay so let's send it send a packet from here now what will happen let's send a packet from here to here okay so it goes it goes and it drops packet got dropped okay so you see the the red mark here packet got drops let's go through my tricky part okay so we are giving the same command ip route any route transfer to this one okay this is a manual route we are adding okay so let's see what will happen now okay we are taking this guy we are going here clear all okay so we are going here we are going here okay let's capture again stage one done stage two it came back packet came back okay okay just try to see the packets here okay oh, interesting very interesting okay why it came back please okay because of, if i if i start describing all this stuff it will be like it will take forever okay so again can you see this guys but the but for some reason packet did not forward it from this side okay let's see what happened in this side okay let me see what happened here i want to finish this row this one so ip route oh there is no ip route going from this side to here there is no ip route okay so t ip route 0 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
like what happened exactly in the network why would why we need the fs uh, first half redundancy protocols okay okay so let's see one two come back can you see this one guys can you see this one so what happened here what happened here right now so the traffic went here went here since it is down so we have we we have one more route we we are telling manually okay with, with the mat metric of 100 okay then the packet is coming back here and then the packet is going back here and now they're tapping this path and then traffic going here okay it is good it is good okay but okay let's assume let, let's assume let's assume that we don't want to implement the fsrp because we are doing our job okay let's think that this link goes down or this router goes down so whenever if ever this link goes down then only if the router is up then only we can able to play with the metric with the router route metric okay if link if this link or this router goes down so there is nowhere when the packet comes from here to here so there is no nobody going to tell to this packet okay please go go and take the other path okay so there is nothing to no there is no device to tell to this packet and packets are not like intelligent okay so that's the reason we should we we, we will we'll get choke also here okay to avoid like these problems what what we are going to do we are, we are going to implement the hsrp okay what hsrp will do let's see what what it will do hsrp okay uh, now let's i want to show you before i before i implement the hsrp i want to show you one more thing let me enable this guy interface serial zero slash zero slash zero no shut okay let me put uh, Okay, now let's see the do show IP route. Okay, since it came up, the route table should need to change. The route table should need to change. It is still showing the same. Okay, let's see. Do show run. What the routing tables we are getting here? Oh, we have this routing table and we have that routing table. Okay. Okay, let's see in the real world mode. Okay, simulation mode sometimes it gets stuck. See, can you see this one? Now we got this one. Okay, so do show IP route. Can you see these guys? It automatically changes whenever this link come up this this route came and then the other route gone from the routing table always always please remember that when you are in this mode nothing will work until unless you do some changes okay whenever you are you are working you come back to this mode when you are you testing go back to this mode okay and then once you finish testing please come back here okay please don't forget to do this one if not you will you will like start troubleshooting for no reason okay so anyhow let's do this pack this uh, test and then we jump onto the fsrp hsrp so right now i'm going to take two packets two packets okay oh sorry it won't work like that one packet second packet and then one more packet to this one distance okay so let's see now when when we are sending the two packets from a from a single pc what happened two three back 
it is taking this path sometimes it's taking this path sometimes it's taking this path let's see what happened okay because of what because of why what's the reason it's taking the two paths even though even though the data going from this path okay and coming back it's taking the this path because of the load balance okay so here here the reason the reason why because of we have the let me see the show you the enter out to show ip route okay because both links got the same route sorry here both links got the same route without metric okay if we want to influence if we want to influence that one of this router always take this path okay then we need to give the route metric over here so this metric by default one okay see this one this this metric is one we need to increase one of the links metric if we if, if we don't if we want this link not to choose say if this this is like 10 10 mbps link okay this is like 5 mbps link okay so if we want this router to take this link always then we need, we can just leave it default one and if we don't want this router to take this link from the further return traffic then we just need to put here 100 the value 100 like so uh, ip route uh, the network to reach and then the next half and then the metric okay so it's so easy as i said as i showed you before okay anyhow let's configure the hsrp okay so this is our agenda today to configure the hsrp okay to configure the hsrp we should need to know which interface we are going to configure the hsrp interface if a zero slash zero so we are configuring the hsrp over here okay interface if a uh, zero slash zero okay stand by one let's see what commands are available because since it is a packet tracer not all the commands are available okay so whatever the commands available i'm showing you and also these commands are not exactly and 80 percent are same and you know we like as i show you in the in the last video in the slides you please go through that command syntax okay sometimes this command syntax may be wrong okay so whatever the commands available i will use over here ip1 okay <coughs> ip question mark 10.1.1.100 okay and now priority say 110 oh standby any any command should be standby one priority one one zero okay stand by one preempt okay so now we go over here interface if you have zero slash zero stand by one ip 10.1.1.1 or oh, sorry 100 stand by one preempt leave priority default 100 over here okay so now do show stand by so what is showing it is speaking see this is then a speak okay now it should be changed can you see this one the log it is standby right now let's verify that see this is standby okay so now when i go back here do show stand by okay this router is active okay so let's do right now um, let's start ping and also we should need to remove the route here which we configured the manual route before do show run we do have the manual route i think it's the route route yeah 
this one we should need to remove if not this come into effect okay no paste okay so there is no way for this router to reach over here okay without the help of the hsrp protocol so since we implement the hsrp so let's let's show you let, let me show you the hsrp <coughs> output do show hsrp sorry do show stand by okay state is active and then the virtual mac address is this one oh virtual ip is this one and then the mac address as i said it, it starts from 0001 like that okay and you can see hello timer three seconds hold hold down timer and all the details you can see so next timer sends in seconds okay milliseconds i think mm, this is a priority 110 configured okay it is it is showing a standby router ip ip address is 10.1.1.2 automatically then they got it okay we even did not specify the start standby router ip but they they got it they exchange okay so now we we are ready to go so now let's let's assume let's assume that we are going to the fs zero slash zero going to fail okay so before that what we need to do over here we have the gateway of 10.1.1.1 10.1.1.1 10.1.1.1 okay if this one tied up with this one okay so now since we have a virtual gateway right now what we have what we have right now we have a virtual gateway here so which is dot hundred say ten dot one dot one dot hundred okay so now what I'm going to do here, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the IP configuration to 100. Okay, and then what we do, let's shut down this interface. Interface okay, zero slash zero. Shut. Before we shut, let's start ping command prompt. Same. Let's ping this guy. Okay, so it is taking this path. Okay, so let's see what will happen. So which is the active router path? This is standby right right now because there is no data is flowing over here. So that's the reason GLBP is very handy. So GLBP can forward like we can forward this from here and from here both at one time we can forward. Okay. With this if uh, HSRP and BRRP, we forward, we can forward only from one router and the other router just waits for it to take over if, in case of any failure. Okay. So so let's put it in minus n thousand packets. Okay. Let the thousand packets go here. Okay. Let me put this guy into shutdown mode. Shut. Okay. See how many packets we lose. The one. Two. Three. Four. It's supposed not to be like this. We should need to tra follow the traffic. Oh, let's see. Okay, this change it to active. Good. Do show HSRP. Standby. Okay. So it's good. It's active. Okay. So it's a forwarding. Okay. Do show IP route. 192.168.200.1. Oh, to which one I'm pinging? Oh, I'm wrong here. I'm wrong here. To which one I'm pinging? I need to ping to. Oh, sorry. Let me do the test again here. I'm wrong here. 
no shift. Okay, so let me do the test. Okay. We need to ping to this one seventy two sixteen one dot hundred. Okay. So now it's pinging. Okay, so now we shut down the interface. We shut the interface. Okay, let's see. Because I'm pinging this way, this one before. That's the reason because it's dead already. So I'm pinging this 10.1.1.1. I was pinging. That's the reason I, I'm not getting any reply. That's what I was amazed. Okay, can you see these guys? Only just two timeouts we got, and then it's automatically the tra load transferred over here okay so now to verify to verify let's go here and check and we did what we did we did the simple configuration over here okay do show stand by okay do show stand by brief okay it show you the brief means it, it will show you only the brief see uh, what is the interface what is the priority? What is the active? What is the you know status of the router? A standby is unknown because of this is down. Okay, what is the virtual IP? Okay, let's bring back this guy now. Since the priority is hundred here, okay. So let's see this one. What it says priority? Do show standby brief. See this priority is hundred. Okay, unknown. Okay, so let's see what it will happen now. So I do no shut. Can you see these guys? Once I give no shut, it came active again. So do show HSRP standby. See, this router is active again. So now, again, the, the, now the data path flowing from here. Let me show you from simulation better. Let me show you from simulation. Okay, go. Two, three, four. Okay, so this is the path it's taking, but incoming path, this, it take this, this. Can you see this one? Incoming path taking this one because of load balance. Okay. Okay, so this is done. So when we shut this interface, so let's see which path is going to take. We shut this interface now. Okay. We clear the data and then we just take the data again. Put the data here, data here. Okay. Let's start. Can you see that one, guys? This all happened because of the virtual MAC, uh, IP address and the virtual MAC address. Okay. Because this switch already knows the virtual MAC address in the cam table it already builds the table so whenever this pc forwarding and then because of the gratuitous uh, gratuitous r this is this router sending r here okay any 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 traffic please forward to me like that this is working in a smooth manner without our interference so we don't need to give any of the uh, manual commands okay so now i was i was trying to tell you about the you know the track uh, tracking interface Okay, let's assume. Okay, let me show you the troubleshoot also. Okay, so let, let me bring this one up. No shift. Okay, so now, now let's assume. Let's give one more command here. Let, let's see what command we give so far. Okay, we give preempt, we give, we give priority, we give this command. Okay, let's see this command. Standby, we should need to be under that interface. Okay, standby one should be same number and then track. Okay, track the this is the object which we are going to track. Okay, serial zero slash zero slash zero. Okay, so now we go under serial interface. 
or we can go here also even this serial interface goes down still effective it, it works config t interface serial zero five zero five zero set so now this link is down so supposed to be this router should need to hand over to this router let's see what will happen now do show standby okay so this is standby right now okay so here okay so let's see the priority now do show before what is the priority here what we configured do show run what is the priority we configured here okay let's show you the priority let, let me show you the priority priority how much 110 okay so now if you go here do show standby Active router is 200, uh, required priority is 100. See, right now the priority 100, but configured is 110. You know why? Because what I said in the theory, I told you that whenever we track the interface by default, by default, okay, so minus 10 will be detected from the priority over here whatever the priority over here if the priority is 120 so it is minus 10 that equal to 110 now the question comes to your mind so right now the priority over here 100 after direct after this link goes down after this link goes down this priority now from before we gave this router as let me, let me show you okay after this router after this link goes down okay we gave the priority we give the priority to this router 110 yes so minus 10 become 100 this is 100 and now this router also 100 priority becomes same now this priority and this priority becomes same now what kicks off over here now the now it kicks off preempt command okay here we have preempt here we have preempt now the other condition if if both priorities are same if if both priorities are same what condition we give highest interface address so what is the interface address here 10.1.1.1 what is the interface address over here? 10.1.1.2, which is highest. So that's the reason it anytime you deal with the layer 3 protocols, highest is better. Anytime you do you, you deal with the layer 2 protocols, lowest is better. Blindly, you just remember this one. Okay. So now when I click over here, okay, do so standby. That's it. You can see active over here. That's the reason you should you, you need to be very careful if you want this router to be always uh, like primary or always like whatever it may be. Okay, you should need to know what the value going to list. But in in fact, you can able to configure you can able to uh, configure what value is going to direct also. Okay, but by default is ten. You won't hurt you if you want this one to be like more always. Then keep it like one twenty is the priority. Okay but the problem is that it won't go down okay or else you can make like 95 if you want if, if you don't want to judge by the you know the decision goes to the ip address then you can make you can then you, you're supposed to do here 95 is the priority oh, sorry 105 is the priority so this router always will be the uh will be the active 
So once this link goes down, then minus 10, that become 95. That become 95. Okay. When it become 95, since it is 100 priority, it automatically takes the priority rather than going, rather than having the tie on the priority and then going back to the IP address. Okay. Do you know, guys? So, so I hope you understand over here how how the how the uh, the HSRP works. It it is we are it is just taking the changes, making the changes over here. So this part is completely independent. This part is completely independent. We are not touching any part. We are just configuring the gateway. Okay, so by so you are giving gateway here 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. That's it. That's that's what you need to do. That's it. So whatever, if this router goes down, if this link goes down, it takes care of this. The the traffic forward via this link and via that link. Okay. So so this is how the basic configuration. So you please take if you don't know you know the much. About configuration, you please you can copy this configuration and you can practice the commands that I did. Okay. So now, okay, let's let's do before I leave you before I, I finish. So you take you can take this configuration for the router A. Okay. Router A, router B. This is the router B and this is for the router C. Okay. Before I leave, let's see. Let's bring this interface back. Let's bring the interface back. Interface serial zero slash zero slash zero. No shirt. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. I it's is shut over here, this side. Okay. No shirt. Okay, so now it should need to come up. Okay, when it come up, so let's see here. See, can you see this one? Become active. So now let's see. Do show standby. See, priority is one ten, and configured is one ten. This is very very important when you when you are troubleshooting. Uh, you shouldn't to make sure make sure that what the priority you configured, what the priority is active. Okay. So this is very helpful. This output is very helpful. If if you want summary, then you can go to do show stand by brief. So this is the summary it can give you. Okay. So I I wish that you I hope that you understand uh, how the the protocol works. Okay. So and also the same VRRP is the same. And GLBP we do the load balance. So the traffic follows two sides. Okay. So GLBP. So the traffic follows like this. Okay. So both routers can forward the traffic in GLBP. Okay. So that once the traffic reach here, or traffic reach from here, or the traffic reach from here. So am I missing something here? Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything here. So there's a troubleshoot also I show you. So that's what for today. And if in my next video, I, I might probably show you like what is the complex like this is design like very basic design. So you supposed to have a like a better design like what if this one fails? Let's assume like what this one fails. So there we need to have the redundant link which is like this. So which is like one router, one switch here, and these are the access. Okay, so this is the distribution of core. Okay, so now this link come here, this link come here. So this link goes here, this link goes here. Okay, this goes to the router. This link goes to the router. Okay, this this we might connect here also. So like these scenarios, I try to explain you how the traffic will do if we have VLANs, how we can make this we can make as, as a route for one VLAN, like VLAN 100. Uh, like standby, this is the active router for VLAN 100. If we have the VLAN 100 here, this is the active router, and this is the standby. Okay, if we have VLAN 200 here, okay, this router, this switch can be active, this can be 
stand like we can we can play with with uh, the configurations i will show you in my next video thank you for watching i hope you enjoy this video and please uh, leave your comments if you like my video thank you very much wait for my next video thank you